Hi guys and welcome to Fay Desk. Today I am doing a tag video which if you'd watched my last tag video, um, first time tag, I was super excited to do it and I said that I would do more tag videos and someone commented on my video, <laughs> I do forgot that, commented on my video asking if I would do like sweater weather tag and shopaholic tag and so I'm going to do those and a makeup tag and a autumn is awesome tag I'm not doing them all at once <laughs> don't worry um and I'll um anyone who watches this because the person who commented on my video wanted to be tagged anyone who watches this I hereby tag you to do these videos and I'd love for you to send me a link so I can check them out and <laughs> see what your answers to the questions are and I have my trusty little notepad this is the notepad I've been going on about that has all my video ideas in for videos for YouTube so I've managed to write down the questions and today I'm going to be doing the sweater weather tag I try to do a heart <laughs> sweater weather tag everyone seems to be doing the heart I'm cool <laughs> oh my god I need to reach something for one of the questions. One sec. Told you. Just a second. Jeff is just a second. God. So unorganised. It's not even funny. Right, so let's get on with this sweater weather tag. First question. Favourite candle scent? Well. Uh, oh, this is a hard one. As you know, because I'm pagan, I burn a lot of candles anyway, like in rituals and spells and stuff, but it's dusty. My favourite, if it's a four candle scent, I would say, I bought these last year, a Yankee candle, see the butt's got a bit dusty, these ones are called Bliss for Autumn, I've already used half the box, I got these in the tea lights, they're just like a dark bluey colour, and they smell absolutely delicious it smell like i don't i hate it when people can't describe candle smells on videos but they smell like i don't even know like apples pears cinnamon you know that sort of stereotypical sort of like new england fall smell that's what they smell like <laughs> and next question coffee tea or hot chocolate Hot chocolate, without a doubt. I absolutely love hot chocolate. I hate coffee. Coffee is absolutely disgusting. And I've worked in coffee shops for years and, and people find it funny, but I absolutely hate it. It's rank. Um, tea, I've only recently really started getting into and I have to have it really milky and about 10 sugars in it to like it. But hot chocolate is always a staple favourite for me. I made a really nice one last night. I had a jar of uh, Whisper hot chocolate and you just put water in and I put sugar and milk in. It makes it really frothy and bubbly and I put loads of marshmallows on the top and it was lush. <laughs> so I would definitely recommend trying that. Um, which makeup trend do you prefer? Winged liner or dark lips? Oh, I don't do either. <laughs> oh, I, I don't do either. I don't really do dark lips, really. And I don't do when I do eyeliner. I don't do winged eyeliner. But I'm gonna say winged eyeliner because I'm gonna start using winged eyeliner, doing winged eyeliner looks if that makes sense. So we're gonna go with winged eyeliner. <laughs> uh, what do you want to be for Halloween? Well, I'm a bit late posting this video and Halloween was like last week, but I, and I didn't go trick or treating or anything like that. But when I when I have been trick or treating in the past or had like a fancy dress party, I would I would have gone either as a fairy or a witch. Favorite Thanksgiving food? This is what I love about being half American and still celebrating Thanksgiving. My mum makes a really nice Thanksgiving dinner every year. And my favourite Thanksgiving food would probably be candied yams. My mum makes the most amazing yams. They taste absolutely so delicious. She put loads of brown sugar in them and makes a really nice sauce and they just taste lush. And for those who don't know what candied yams are, they're basically sweet potatoes. <laughs> but yeah, they taste so really, really sweet, sugary and buttery. They taste really, really nice. Um, hats or scarves? Without a doubt, I am a scarf person. Hats don't suit me. I've got too big a head, too much hair. Hats look absolutely... 
atrocious on me. I'm trying to reach a scarf to show you, I bet I won't be able to pull it. Oh, I got it! This is the scarf. It was worn. This is my favourite scarf at the moment that I've been rocking for ages. As you can see, it's pink and it's massive. It's got butterflies on it. My boyfriend bought it for me for our anniversary back in September. So yes, yeah, so that's the scarf one I've been wearing scarves at the moment. I've been wearing that one all the time, but yeah, I'm a huge scarf person. <laughs> um, most worn sweater. Uh, for this, this year, it will probably be this one. You probably can't, can't really see it. It will be this one. This one is like a charcoal colour and it's got little sparkles in it. And my mum bought it me from Asda the other day, well last week. It's only, it's only £10. I've got another one in pink. They do a creamy colour, a uh, maroony colour and a light blue colour. So I'm probably going to get all of them. Just really nice and co casual and comfortable and they're not expensive. And I usually wear a strappy top under mine. It's nice and cosy and snuggly. But yes, yeah, so that will probably be this year. Last year's one. Ooh, I'm dropping everything. I got this for Christmas from my mom, and it is a love label. The brand love label, and this one is quite expensive. It's about forty quid. But it's a light. It's beautiful. It's really, really long and thick and baggy. And I always wear leggings with it and like Ugg boots and a strappy top. And it's sort of like, can't really see it, but it's in this light, but it's like a light pinky brown. It's sort of really pretty hot on it. And at the bottom, it's got the sort of holes in it. And it's just such a nice and comfy, cosy sweater. And I wore that all the time last year. And I'm going to start wearing that again as well. Uh, Favourite for nail polish. I don't really wear nail polish that much. And that's mainly because I've had jobs where I've not been allowed to wear nail polish. So I've just sort of gotten out of the habit of wearing it, even though I've got loads of nail polish. I still paint my toenails all the time, but since I've been off work, really, I should have been, like, putting nail polish on all the time. No excuse, I'm going to put some on later. But I would say my four colours are going to be it's these two and that one. It's hard to tell, but this one is like a, sort of like a tiger's eye colour, like, sort of like a, it's like a black but it's got loads of gold sparkly colour in it so it sort of looks like tiger's eye and this one is just like a like a pearl colour and that's got sparkly what's nice for the holiday season and stuff and these ones are Painted Lady by Umberto Gianni and if you've watched my other videos where I've done a like what's in my makeup bag and done makeup videos on Mandy's channel um, you'll see there's a little compact that I keep in my handbag that's a Painted Lady one by Umberto Gianni as well. And I bought these from Boots last Christmas time. I got them in the sale. They were £12 originally. And there's another three. I think a set of five. But these are the two I'm going to be using for full time. And these two colours. So I got them half price. They were like £6 instead of 12 But even 12 is not too bad for six colour, five colours. Sorry. Lady, Lady Luscious is the pearlescent one. And the Tiger's Eye colour is Lady Gilt. So if you want to get those, I'm sure Boots will have to be doing them again. Uh, where did I get to? What do you prefer? Jumping ga um, jumping games? Football games or jumping in leaves? Well, in England, football or what you class as football in America, so like soccer, it's just, it's more associated with summer and I hate it anyway. But when I went to... America last October I went to like a football game like because I went it was amazing it was so cool and it, I'd say if I get to go to, get to go to more like American football games I would say American football games but actually I do love jumping in leaves and when I used to live in America me and my sister used to make massive leaf piles we had a huge backyard and just jump in though but I haven't got a massive backyard over here so I can't really do that so skinny jeans or leggings? Well, I'm going to be honest with you because I've said before that I'm not very happy that I've put on weight and I'm on a diet at the moment, but before I put on weight again, I would definitely say skinny jeans. I've got loads of skinny jeans and I wear them with everything all the time and they're such a go-to item. You can dress them up or dress them down and they've got pockets and... 
but since I've put weight on, obviously leggings are my go-to item that I wear with like everything. But that's what I hate about leggings. Sometimes I feel even when you try and dress them up, sometimes I feel a bit too casual. So that's why I prefer skinny jeans. But hopefully soon I will be rocking skinny jeans again when I've lost weight. Yay! <laughs> um, combat boots or UGG boots. I've never owned a pair of combat boots in my life. I personally think they're gross. I absolutely love UGG boots. I've got loads of UGG boots. Um, imitation UGGs. They're alright. They look cool. But then obviously they start to wear really quick. But I managed to get a pair a couple of years ago of real UGGs. Like a dark brown. It's like just under a knee ones. And I wear those all the time and they don't, I manage to get them for like 30 quid. So I wear those all the time and I love them. But yeah, Uggs are really expensive. Sugar Boots are another brand. They're sort of like Ugg Boots. And I absolutely love those. I need to get another pair but they're a lot cheaper. And they sort of, oh, you can either get shorter ones like Uggs or higher ones like Uggs as well that go just under the knee. And um, you put them on and the way they sort of stay done up, cause they tie, like you have two sort of ties and you tie them at the side. And they're sort of like really pretty colours like usually really like flowery flowery floral -y bright patterns and they're really really pretty and I absolutely love them but they do get the same as <coughs> imitation Uggs where they'll wear down the side where you're walking you end up walking funny and they're quite expensive about 50 quid 60 quid but I love those and I really want another pair because they're so pretty right favourite thing about four um that's really hard there's loads of things i love <coughs> i love i don't even know no everything I, I don't know i just i just love the atmosphere in the air and the when the leaves start changing and obviously like i don't know october is sour and that's always so exciting and i love carving with pumpkins and yeah, to know everything. There's not one thing I could choose. I just absolutely love the seasons and everything. So you have your answer. Everything. <coughs> and last question, but I think I got the order wrong. I think this one was supposed to be number three. But it doesn't matter. Best four memory. My best four memories are probably, say, from last year. Probably last year. I mean, la last October when I went to stay with my dad for a couple of weeks. And I met him in New York and I'd never been to New York and we stayed in New York for a couple of days and then we drove to Ohio and stayed with him there with my family and we visited other family in Georgia. So I would say when I went on holiday last year because it was absolutely amazing and there's so many memories, like so many, so much good stuff and so many places that I went and yeah, I would definitely say that that holiday was definitely my best four memory like ever. <laughs> So that is it for the sweater weather tag and I hope you enjoyed it and like I said I've tagged you all if you watch it so feel free to do one and send me the link so I can watch it but yeah so have a lovely day and lots of love and extra big heap of berry dust. Mwah.